Please welcome President and CEO, Lakita Anzen Suites, Keith Klein. Good morning, Ahoa. How is everyone this morning? So uh, it's interesting. I'm really embracing the spirit of this TED Talk format. Uh, no slides, no prepared comments, just a personal story of leadership. And as I, I look out across this room, there's a couple of things that we all have in common. Number one, we're all leaders. And number two, we all have the responsibility of driving value in our organization and returns on our investment. So my topic today is who is a leader from my past and what traits or qualities did they have that inspired me every day and what have I aspired to duplicate throughout my career. So I'll start with the leadership qualities that I think are important. Number one, I believe that the best leaders are stable. They're emotionally aware. They're in self-control. They understand how their actions affect the people around them, their organization, and their business. Has anyone worked for a leader that's unpredictable, a bit of a loose cannon, don't know what to expect. It's not very comforting for employees to be in that environment, which leads me to my second trait and quality, which is the ability of a leader to drive and create an environment of openness and trust, because I truly believe that environments of openness and trust are the best environments to drive results in an organization. So I'll tell you who the person was. Years ago, I worked for FedEx Corporation and there was a divisional CEO named Bruce Simpson. Now, Bruce is long retired, I'm sure, by now. And I'm sure if you spoke to him today, he would have little to no recollection of a very young Keith Klein working in his, or in his organization. But I can tell you this, he had a profound impact on me, uh, a profound impact on my leadership style and approach. And I am eternally thankful for what I learned from him. You see, the way that he ran the business, which we all aspire to, is to deliver consistent, predictable, sustainable results in the organization. And he did this surrounded by a group of leaders that were fiercely loyal to Bruce. So I asked myself, how is he uh, creating this ability to deliver so consistently in this organization and have a group of executives, employees that are so motivated and loyal to him. In fact, I wasn't the only person asking that question. As I spent time in his organization, there were researchers that spent some time in our offices, and they were actually working on a book called Primal Leadership. Anybody heard of that book, Primal Leadership? Right? Um, it's an excellent book. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. Uh, Daniel Goldman, Richard Boyakis. Um, if you haven't heard of the book, I'm sure you've heard of the phrase that was coined out of the book, which is emotional intelligence. So who's heard of emotional intelligence? Probably everybody in the room. You see, Bruce had this innate quality as a servant leader to be in control, to be the calm within the storm, to be unflappable, and that kind of a leader creates confidence uh, in an organization. The second quality, this ability to drive trust is in an organization, is, is also really interesting. Over the years, I came across a lot of authors that have written books about trust, and the one that most closely resembles what this gentleman did for me in my career is uh, Pat Lencioni. He wrote a book called The Five Dysfunctions of a Team, which really isn't rocket science, but it does encapsulate these leadership qualities that I viewed firsthand. So is, as a leader, if you can create this environment of openness and trust, what does it do within your organization? What well, brings down the barriers and you can have open debate? So it leads to this scenario called no fear of conflict. So if you have openness and trust in your organization and no fear of conflict, what are you going to be able to do? Debate ideas, share the best ideas, and surface the best ones for the organization to pursue. If you can do those things, you can do another amazing thing, which is create alignment in your organization because it's not one person's idea, it's everybody's idea. And if you have alignment in your organization, it creates an enormous high enormously high probability that you're going to drive results within your organization. 
So I think it's important for everybody in this room to have a personal story of leadership. My personal story of leadership starts many, many years ago in a different industry, and I'm thankful today that I was exposed to Bruce Simpson and these two extraordinarily important qualities that have shaped the way that I lead today. Thank you so much for listening, and enjoy the rest of your conference. Thank you.